Compass is certainly known for its strong SUV capabilities and credentials. But what has been dissuading a lot of buyers from going for it is its heavy price tag and the lack of options. Yes, even in the day of automatics, the Compass came with an automatic option only with the top of the line diesel 4x4 SUV. But Jeep has decided to change that with this 2024 model. Yes, the recently updated Jeep Compass now comes with a 4x2 diesel automatic option right from the longitude variant, which is just above the base model. And in addition to that, it has also received a considerable price reduction across the variant line. So, does this mean you should consider the Jeep Compass now? Or is there more to what needs the eye? Let's find out. If you haven't subscribed to Car & Bike already, do subscribe. Do not forget to press that bell icon. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Visually, not much has changed except for some refreshed styling bits. This includes a new grille with 3D elements and more body colored cladding. However, the model with me is the new Black Shark Edition which, well you guessed it, gets black styling treatment instead of chrome. This includes bumper inserts, the roof and side mirrors along with blacked out Jeep and Compass logos. As for the features, the SUV gets refreshed LED headlamps with LED daytime running lights, LED tail lights, new 18-inch alloy wheels also painted in black and black roof rails. The cabin too gets an all-black treatment with contrast red stitching and red inserts on the dashboard. However, the layout and features mostly remain unchanged. You continue to get soft touch material all across with faux leather upholstery and ventilated front seats. The driver also gets power adjustable seats. As this is based on the limited variant, the Black Shark Edition also gets the same 10.1 inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wireless phone charger, multifunctional steering wheel and a part digital part analog instrument cluster. You also get rear AC vents with a panoramic sunroof along with Type-A and Type-C USB ports. As most of the tech and features remain unchanged, let's see how the new 4x2 diesel automatic setup performs. The updated Compass, even this Black Shark Edition, is powered by a 2-litre diesel engine and it is the same turbocharged unit that was offered with the SUV earlier as well. As for the petrol version, Jeep still doesn't offer a petrol engine, so diesel is the only option you have. In terms of performance, nothing much has changed. The engine makes the same 168 brake horsepower and 350 Nm of peak torque. Uh, overall performance is nice and the engine is peppy, the power delivery is good and it has enough grunt to keep you engaged at all times. What is new here is this, a new 9-speed automatic transmission that sends power to the front wheels. Yes, the Compass 4x2 gets a diesel automatic for the first time and that is the big change over here. As for its performance, the transmission is nice, it does its job well but uh, it is not very engaging. You can't rush it, uh, because it's tuned for efficiency, the throws are longer, so it might feel a bit laggy, especially in the lower revs, but as you move up the rev band and cross the 2500 RPM mark, uh, things start falling into places and overall, the engine and the gearbox and overall performance of the SUV feels a lot more engaging and responsive. In terms of features, the SUV offers dual airbags, electronic stability control, ABS with EVD, Isofix child seat mounts, rear parking camera with sensors and tire pressure monitoring system as standard. The limited variant and all trims above it get 4 additional airbags, while the top spec Model S trim comes with 360 degree view cameras as well. Now this Black Shark edition is priced at 26 lakh 49 thousand rupees, but the Compass range itself now starts from as low as 20 lakh 49 thousand rupees 
whereas you can get an automatic option from as low as 23 lakh 99 thousand rupees. These are of course ex showroom India pricing. Now, when you compare it to the previous version, the pricing has certainly come down by a huge margin and that makes it a very good proposition. But when you look at it as an overall SUV and compare it to rivals like the Harrier, the new Harrier and the XUV700, the value proposition doesn't stack up that tall. But if you are looking for a compass to buy, then this is probably the best time. So if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and keep following Car and Bike for more automotive content.